Question four in the use of maths decision paper from June 13 says the diagram shows a network of roads and the locations of seven houses in Palm Springs. The number on each edge represents the distance in kilometres between pairs of houses and the total length of all these roads is 22 kilometres. This bit of information is going to be really useful to us at the end. Part A says Ron the policeman has to patrol the area by driving along all the roads shown in the diagram at least once. Find the length of an optimal Chinese postman route around the road shown on the diagram, starting and finishing at P. So the Chinese postman algorithm says that we need to find all our odd nodes. In a use of maths paper, we would expect there to be four. So we've got O, we've got K, we've got J, and we've got L. With four odd nodes, there are three ways of pairing them up. I can pair up J and K, and that leaves L and O. I can pair up K and O, and that leaves J and L. And I can pair up J and O and K and L. So these are my three ways. Now I just need to find the distances. Be careful, we're always looking for the shortest distance. And it's not always immediately obvious what the shortest distance is. Between J and K, the distance is 1.3. Between L and O, the distance is, well, we could go L to K and down. That would be 3.8. Or I could go down to N and across. That would be 3.5. So the shortest one is 3.5. This total is going to be 4.8. So K to O, well, clearly the shortest distance is 2.7, and J to L, the distance is 2.4. So this gives us a total of 5.1. And if I connect up J to O, well, that's going to be 4, and K to L is 1.1. So that's going to be 5.1. The shortest pairing is this one. So I want to pair up J to K. Let's take off the red which we put on earlier. So we want to go along the road J to K twice, and we want to go along how we did L to O, which we did by coming down and across. Notice that it asks us for the length of the optimum Chinese postman route. It doesn't actually ask for a route. So we know that we're going to have to walk along all the roads once, but we're going to walk along J to K and L to O twice. We're going to do the 22 that we were given at the start, and we're going to add on the 4.8 that we've just found, and that's going to give us 26.8. In an optimal route corresponding to your answer in part AI, state the number of times the letter L would appear. So what we need to think is I'm going to go into L and I'm going to go out of L. And then I'm going to go into L and because we're going along this road twice, I'm going to go out of L. This is why I think it's always a good idea to draw on the repeated rows onto your diagram. You can see we've gone in and out, in and out, so we're going past it twice. And then the last part says George is to drive along all the roads delivering leaflets. George starts at house J and finishes at house K. Find the length of George's optimal route. Well, if you're starting and finishing at J and K, J and K are allowed to be odd. So these ones are allowed to be odd. We only have to pair up L and O. So because we're pairing up L and O, we're going to do our 22 from the start. And we're going to add on the 3.5 for L and O. And that gives us a total of 25.5. Chinese postman questions are great because it's always lots of marks and they're fairly straightforward. So best of luck with it.